Good morning. I'm Justin Farmer. I am obligated to share some news with you today that is heartbreaking. After a nearly seven month battle with an extremely aggressive form of brain cancer, our colleague and friend Javita Moore has passed away. She passed last night as she wanted with her family by her side. She passed peacefully. Javita is survived by her children, Shelby, Joshua, Lauren, and her mother, Yvonne. Our general manager, Ray Carter, shared this very tough news just a little while ago with our WSB family. In his comments, he reminds us that scripture says there is a time to be joyous and a time to laugh and a time to cry. And today we will cry. And we will remember and honor our colleague and friend, Javita Moore. I'm Javita Moore. At Channel 2 Action News, we focus on stories that make a difference in your life. For more than 20 years, she made a difference in our lives. From the start, WSB TV viewers and Javita's colleagues recognized her talent, intelligence, and work ethic. There is a large crime scene at this hour. What happened to that new car? In East Point, Javita Moore, Channel 2 Action News. Javita was a native New Yorker who grew to love her adopted hometown of Atlanta. She also loved news from an early age and after college got an internship at the New York Times. But Javita was intrigued by broadcasting, earning her master's in broadcast journalism from prestigious Columbia University. Her TV resume began in Fort Smith, Arkansas, then a stop to Memphis, Tennessee. And in 1998, she found a home in Atlanta at WSB TV. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Javita Moore. In 2012, Javita moved to the main anchor desk. In a career spanning nearly 30 years, she's covered stories that impacted every Georgian and interviewed men and women who've made history. Do you see that as sort of an extension of your father's legacy? This is where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech, which changed the course of the civil rights movement. From Washington to Egypt. People travel across the world here to Egypt to see the inside of King Tut's tomb. Javita went where there was a story to tell. She anchored dozens of primetime specials. The subjects were at times difficult and sometimes personal. I was diagnosed with fibroids two years ago. when I was Back in 2000, I did a series of reports about fibroids, including a surgical procedure I underwent called myomectomy. I decided to have the surgery after unsuccessfully getting pregnant. Javita was unafraid to tackle tough issues, even those that threatened to divide Atlanta. Will this spark new conversations within your police departments about race relations? Naturally, there were many special, very happy times on air as well. To witness the historic inauguration of President-elect Barack Obama. In many cases, our viewers felt like Javita was their friend or maybe a member of their family the even, the and they loved hers. <laughs> Look at her. She's saying, Mom, She's what are right. you doing <laughs> to me? What you... As her children grew, Javita devoted more time to community service, emceeing hundreds of events, volunteering often to help those in need. She gives of herself to our families. She comes on site. She volunteers with the family. She ensures that they know they matter. So last spring, when doctors discovered two tumors on her brain, Javita wanted to share the news in hopes it might help someone else. Well, I was really concerned about why all of a sudden I was forgetful and disoriented and um, just not feeling myself, you know, and feeling like I was in a fog. And when the difficult diagnosis was confirmed, Javita shared that with us as well. The messages of love and support began immediately and have not stopped. Let you know that the state of Georgia is with you. God bless. Our community never stopped supporting their beloved anchor and friend. We care about you. As a city of Atlanta, we just want you to know that we're here for you and that whatever you're going through, and your battle, we're also in that battle with you. Today, a tough day, and we remember our friend and colleague, Javita Moore. We have no doubt her spirit lives on through her loving family and friends, her passionate reporting, and her endless service to our community. Oh, how we love our friend. There is no making sense of a tragic death such as this. It's pain. It's going to stay for a while. We pray for her children. And I'll share this with you. Javita told me a few weeks ago when we visited in her living room, she said, yep, 
Armor, got a bad hand. Sometimes that is just life. We know how much you love Javita, and surely we know how much that um, you want to share with her your feelings. We know that you'd like to offer some condolences, um, so we're going to let you do that, and um, we're going to be here with you throughout this tough time. Throughout the days ahead, we'll be paying tribute to our colleague and friend, Javita Moore.